Hi folks, my name is Nick Palavanian. I'm the designer of the Kebab Master Barbecue Grill. This is the Kebab Master Barbecue Grill, the 31 inch. Uh, this is the first of four grills. This is the smallest one and it holds 10 skewers and it's intended for residential use as opposed to the other three models that we have, the 36, 48 and 60 inch which are intended for restaurant use or commercial use. Uh, the Kebab Master usually ships just like this in a styrofoam box. It's it's a custom box made for the kebab master and it has these two bars which are stainless steel bars. Uh, this is the only part of the installation uh, that requires uh, two screws uh, to assemble the, the entire kebab master. These are the two screws. You would just take them out and they're ready for installation. usually ship with 10 skewers just like this, but for our demonstration today, we've used only two. So this is our kebab master, and I'm about to assemble it. As you will notice, it's a very easy installation. These two bars, one goes here on one side, just screw it on all the way down. And then this is the other one. Once these two stainless steel tubings are installed. You can install the front plate if I'm using the two screws that originally came with it. And you want to make sure that the screws are lined up with the two holes up here. For the installation you'll need a medium sized Phillips screwdriver and a plier. Those are the only two tools that are necessary. So we screw one side in on one end, the other screw goes on this side. You can come around here to photograph uh, this other screw going in. Okay, so once both screws are in, it's ready to be put on the kebab, on the grill. And I'll actually do it this way. Just slide it down like this. Once the grill is put into the charcoal box, there's little clips here, and these clips are actually springs, and you can actually um, move them along the length of the stainless steel piping. And what you want to do is make sure that this is about, that the housing, the box with the mechanism is about an inch away, and then just push the clip all the way under the back, and just fold it up. And the reason we're doing this is because the kebab master, the back of the kebab master is actually heavier than the front because of the motor, so we don't want it to tip over. And that's one of the reasons why we have these four clips. And the other purpose of the clips, right here, the other purpose of the clips is to adjust it to each individual barbecue grill because we know that everybody has a different grill. So you may not necessarily be using the kebab master charcoal grill. Nonetheless, it would still still use the springs to line everything up. Now as, as you might have noticed here, I, I brought the spring to under the little flap and I brought it right to the wall. All four are right against the wall and I folded it under these flaps here, the springs, so that now the kebab master is secure and it will not fall out. Once that's done, we have our skewers and we have little clips along the skewers. And what you want to do is just insert the tip of the skewer into the skewer holder and on this end, let me use this one here actually, on this end here you want to just align the clip 
right to the plate, but not actually touching the plate, actually just about a millimeter away. And uh, using a simple Allen wrench, just tighten the, the clip. And now it's solid, it's firm, it's not going to move. And that's one. We're going to do this for all ten skewers. Here's another one. And here's the Allen wrench. And again, you just tighten this, tighten the little set screw to where we want it, which is about a millimeter in. And the kebab master is ready for use. And again, you want to make sure that this is an inch away from the charcoal box. And this part is also an inch away. As you can see, this is more than an inch. The kebab master will adjust up to 20 inches. So it'll accommodate up to 20 inches from from left from front to back and it is 31 inches from left to right. Now your grill might be a little bit less or a little bit more depending on how big your grill is. That's how many skewers that you'll be able to use on your grill. And it's ready for use. At this point we would just plug it in and we're ready to barbecue our shish kebabs. And this is our lesson for the day for the Kebab Master Barbecue Grill. Thank you.